What did you do with the guy that froze at the top of the tree? I had to put on my belt and spurs and climb up there. I talked to this yokel because he froze and he wouldn't even move. How far up was he? He right at the top. So I had talked to, to him and I had to talk him down. Once we got down, I was all right, but I said, I was pretty mad. <laughs> I used to go to bed with my Stanfield unders were on, you know. Uh, so I used to, even my socks, I even wore my socks to bed. I heard this rattling during the night. I got up and he's trying to light the fire in the box. <laughs> His knees, knees were shaking so bad, he couldn't even strike the match, he was shaking so bad. So I had to finally get up and put the match in the fire for him. But I, I swore there was mice all over the bloody place and this little mousey got jumped right in my bunk. It was so goddamn cold. <laughs> we're hard up, we had to stay. It didn't hurt us a damn bit either. Well, it was just lots of fun logging. It was, it was a great, a great bunch of guys. You know, we used to leave each other in Vancouver. We'd each tell our separate ways, meet again in July or Christmas, stay there six, seven months. <laughs>